Hey guys, Jeremy Fail here. Haven't made a video in a long time really. It's been well coming up for five months now. But I thought I'd push out a quick one before Christmas. Um as you can see I haven't been playing that much recently. I quit for quite a while. Recently came back and as you can see I've been sort of rounding my skills off around eighty. That's the current goal and I've been doing it slowly here and there. Just thought I'd show you all that. The total level's getting up. And on top of that as well. I got rid of my party hats and stuff when I quit, so the bank from scratch stuff and that sort of thing, uh, how can I put it, we'll be starting again at some point soon, so I wanted to do a bit of a guide as well while I was here, I thought I might as well, and the guide will be a new charm collecting method that's for evolution of combat, so not many people do rock lobsters and that sort of thing anymore because it's all multi-combat and all this and all that so the new method that's out there I'll show you all today so you're going to want to start off by getting the mage equipment set up so as you can see here I've got full subjugation and just a full mage setup as you can see and then once you've got that you're going to want rock barrage if possible if not I suppose you could use any other barrage so rock barrage, you want it on auto cast, so you want blood, earth, and then 88 magic or higher. Then once you've got all this, you're gonna to want to go to Falador first. Once in Falador, run towards the person who changes your house around to the estate agent. And then once you're here, ask him if he's able to change your house. So, can you move my house, please? And then you want it moving to Relica. So, once you've done that, you're going to want to teleport to house. The equipment you're going to want for this is... I go with four overloads, four prayer renewals, my runes, a teleport, and then... Prayer flasks. But, I suppose you could use a cheaper method. But this is the general area of well, sort of things you're going to want. So you follow up from Relica, and you ask this guy if you can teleport to Waterbirth. You won't have to right click option, unless you've been previously, but you just speak to him a few times and he'll take you to Waterbirth Island. Then once you're here, we'll just speed it up until you're at the entrance. I forgot to mention as well that here, it's a lot quicker if you have a wand. I know wands are quite a bit more expensive than the staff. But a wand really, really helps. The speed is massively different, right? So you're going to want to build up momentum first. You could do it down there, but I'm going to quickly do it here. Right, so let's quickly build this horrible momentum up. Okay, it probably would be quite a bit quicker down there. Okay, so momentum's built up now. Quickly use that. So you minimise your ball, you make sure you put your spell autocast good. So let me just go to the little mage book. Autocast rock barrage. And then you're going to want to pot up. And we go inside. If you low level, I'm not sure how difficult this is going to be. But I know a friend that does this with quite low defence as well, so you should be perfectly fine. You go in, you're going to have all the Dagonoffs attacking you. So we're just going to run around to the other side. And then, once we're around here, we just wait for them to all herd up and start attacking. And it's really just as easy as that. Try to get them free by free if you can. Um, because then you're getting more out of your barrages and stuff. And the XP drops and stuff are just so good here. As you can see, it's just wow. And it's as easy as that. And the higher populated world you're on, the more you can get out of it as well. So as I'm on World 2... As it's not far in the day that the update's not long come out. Um, there's not very many people on at the moment. Some are still at school, college, etc. So it's not filled up. But it's just really, really good. And as soon as you go non-aggressive, just run around to the other side and run back. And this method currently is, from what I understand, about 400k magic or defense XP per hour. Um, and on top of that, you get about... I think it's 300 to 400 crims per hour. Something like that, but it's something worth doing. 
let me know if, if it works for you or if you've got a better method. So thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment and subscribe, and remember, don't be fake.